Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Cudgel here, and today we have a story out of Oklahoma City. Jailers face cruelty charge playing Baby Shark on Loop is inhumane, prosecutor says. Now if you don't know the song Baby Shark, it's a, uh, a kid song, there's a million and one uploads breaking a hundred million views on YouTube, which I fail to understand. I guess the only explanation is kindergartners. But regardless, it's a really famous song. Uh, I suppose a lot of people uh, grew up listening to it in elementary school. Personally, I never really heard it in elementary school. I've heard tons of people my same age sing the song, talk about how it's so nostalgic warm, their parent played it for them later in preschool and stuff. I had never heard the song till a couple years ago. I don't know if I was like a Mandela effect or something, and I'm from an alternate universe where that song doesn't exist, but I'll, I'll play it here. I, I had not heard this till a couple years ago. And that's about as much as I can play before I get copyright striked. But regardless, you can see it's an extremely repetitive song, pretty much saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, there's few songs that are worse than that on repetitiveness, uh, maybe Justin Bieber's Baby, uh, maybe a couple others here and there, but it, it's pretty much the worst of the worst in that department. And as such, two former detention officers and their supervisors thought it was perfect for torture of inmates. Oklahoma City. Two former detention officers and their supervisor were charged Monday after an investigation found inmates at the Oklahoma County Jail were forced to listen to the popular children's song Baby Shark on loop at loud volumes for extended periods of time. At least four inmates were subjected to the inhumane discipline in an attorney visitation room of the jail last November and December, according to the charge. The inmates were forced to stand the entire time, handcuffed behind them, and secured to the wall. And then it goes on to list all the people charged, I won't read their name here of course, but the point of the story is, four inmates, at least that we know of, maybe more, were handcuffed to a wall and forced to listen to Baby Shark for hours on end. And as the prosecutor is now charging, that is inhumane. Which at first might sound ridiculous, like I'm pretty sure there's some old Mr. Beast videos of him listening to worse stuff for 24 hours. Even I've done stuff like that before. One of my oldest videos is me sitting right here saying bitch lasagna 10,000 times. I don't think the video's still up anymore, but I sat here for like three or four hours and said bitch lasagna 10,000 times and counted it on the screen. Which, I mean, I, I do gotta say though, that, that was pretty torturous. It, especially considering, I was hoping it would blow up, because this was during the whole PewDiePie versus T-Series thing a couple years ago. I was hoping it would blow up, get me internet famous, but it, it got like a hundred views in like a year and a half. And now I think it's even private. I'll show a clip here if you really care. And so I, as a fellow nine-year-old, am doing my part by saying bitch lasagna 10,000 times. That's 10,000 times for each word, so 20,000 in total, I suppose. But 10,000 times, I will say the phrase, bitch, lasagna. But as you can see, I, I think few people would really call that true torture to the point of going to court. I mean, it, it sucks for a couple hours, but it's not pure torture. I mean, Mr. Beast has sat there and watched videos for like 24 hours, read the whole dictionary. He used to do all sorts of stuff in his older videos. and I mean, that's not torture. But I think the real difference between what I did and what these people were subjected to is that I at least had a choice to do that. I chose to sit there for hours and say bitch lasagna 10,000 times. Mr. Beast chose to sit there and watch dog dancing video for 24 hours. Uh, it's that free will that I think makes the difference. Which I have an article here from about 12 years ago by The Guardian talking about how in Guantanamo Bay they'll subject inmates to hours and hours of torture to get them to spill the beans. And what is that torture? Playing pop rock songs. Yes, this is true. One torturer even created his own mix that fused the sounds of crying babies or the Meow Meow Mix cat food commercial. I've recreated it here for you. Now say what you will about Baby Shark, but that last thing, that is pure torture, you cannot argue that. I will say this article doesn't mention how many hours they were forced to listen to Baby Shark. I mean, if it was there for like an hour, then this is this is a BS charge. I mean, don't get me wrong, they, they shouldn't have been subject to that. that. That's not part of the prison experience, at least not that I've heard of. But at the same time, I mean, if you're sitting there, you have to listen to Baby Shark for an hour, that's not that bad. But if they had to listen to this thing for like 
four plus hours handcuffed to a wall forced to stand the whole time that yeah i would probably consider that torture maybe not four hours maybe maybe more than five hours closer to 10 hours 10 hours for sure i would call torture which again it's really just that free will thing just having a choice to do that versus being forced to and stand the whole time and not knowing when it's gonna end exactly that i i can understand this charge a bit more it is still a completely wild and weird story though i am curious as to what these detention officers and this supervisor were even thinking by doing this? Did they throw him into the Oz hole or something and then play Baby Shark or something? Like, were these- did these guys piss off the officers or something and they did this? Or did they just do this for sadistic fun? There's, there's just so many questions here this article fails to answer. But regardless though, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, bye!